Go ahead, Dave. How you doing? Mm. Ah, good stuff. Greetings and salutations. Well, a few days ago I had a commenter ask for an update on the Pepsi machine. So I thought it was kind of ironic. I think that was yesterday morning I got that, uh, that request and it was just the night before that I, I buttoned up the shelving and everything on the inside. So I thought I'd take the opportunity today to uh, kind of push the car out of the garage out of the way so I could get a good camera angle and, and show you what I've accomplished so far. Now, I'm going to qualify this by saying that it's not done yet but uh, it's done enough to uh, secure my, my, uh, my guns in. So let me grab the, the camera and move you in closer and we'll take a look, okay? Ready? Eight long guns. Um, I've got a few of my pistols in the range bag here, but uh, I've got the Colt up here. I'm going to put uh, some racks up on the top here for uh, my semi-automatic pistols. A shelf here for uh, for uh, pistol ammunition that I have just in boxes. So I can just grab. I got I got uh, all the bulk ammo and cans over yonder. Except for my 223 ammo, which I have in big cans down here. Coincidentally, these cans right here will hold in excess of 2,000 rounds of 223 ammo. FYI. So the materials that I used for this project are readily available and pretty inexpensive. I just used uh, this particle board. It's uh, uh, sold as underlayment at Home Depot, three quarter inch uh, chipboard. And it has a smooth finish. And then I used just carpet uh, for speaker boxes. And I got these off, off of eBay. 15 foot roll for 30 bucks. 15 foot by uh, four foot. So it wasn't, you know, wasn't too expensive. I, I bought two rolls of this stuff. I've got probably, well, I've got enough carpet left to do that speaker box that's up on the shelf there. That you just can't quite see because it's off camera. Let's just see the corner of it, right? There. Um, and uh, the way I have this thing constructed uh, originally, see if you can visualize this, there was an inner box here that provided a two inch space for insulation between the outer and the uh, refrigerated portion of the, of the Pepsi machine. So I took that inner box out and then uh, inside of here, I've got uh, car these carpet panels, and the way that they're installed, the, the back panels went in first, and then the top panel, and then the side panels went in, and then the bottom panel went in. Everything locks everything in, and then uh, you know, just if you, if as long as you take it apart in uh, the reverse order that you installed it, there's only two fasteners that are holding all these things in. And those two fasteners hold the uh, the rifle separator panel here. And the only reason I did that is because uh, the, the wood is flexible enough where it wouldn't stay lined up and tight against the back. So I just mechanically fastened this to the side shelf there, the divider. Now these all, all these shelves can be removed, and they're they're pretty friction fit already, so it doesn't require a whole lot. But I found out that these magazines, these HK mags, are three bucks a piece on Cheaper Than Dirt. 
three bucks. So I got seven more on the way. That gives me an even 15. I guess that would be odd. Yeah, an odd 15. This, uh, this lock right here allows you to open this, this white panel. Gains you access to the lights and the, the coin changer, which is still in here, and the, the pull tab trash can. If you don't know what a pull tab is, ask your grandpa, he'll know. Um, yeah, so um, I can do some stuff in here for storing, um, like my uh, my turret um, dies. You know, my, I got a four hole turret press, and I can just take. I can switch out calibers by just pulling out the four hole, uh, the thing my jig the dice go into, and I can store those on a shelf inside of here. But that's that's down the road. I still got to run the electrical and everything. Thought about putting strip lighting in behind this recess here and just lighting up the perimeter that should cast enough light in there to to light up whatever's on the shelves, and so I don't have to put lights like little pump lights or anything inside there just like that indirectly from the outsides that was what I was thinking so now recently I had a friend of mine over that didn't know anything about this project and and um, I walked him out the garage and showed him around he said oh that's pretty cool uh, does that one pop machine work and I said no no it just look it just looks pretty you know I have something I bought here locally and and uh, kind of repainted and fixed up, kind of restored. I think I'll just use it. Maybe, maybe I'll fix it. I, I guess that's what I told him. So I might fix it. Yeah, just let him, you know, kind of chew on that for a little while. And then about 20 minutes later, I got out the key and I opened it up. And his, his eyes got huge. He's like, wow, that's cool. I never thought to, to turn that into a gun safe. If I was a thief, I'd have walked right by it. Well, Maybe he wouldn't be a very good thief, but... Oh, coincidentally, it is bolted to the wall, too, so... There's four six-inch lags that bolt that thing right to the studs. So it ain't going nowhere. Don't take that as a challenge, please. Okay. So, you know, I'm into the top machine for a hundred bucks. I've got roughly... Roughly $100 in material to do the the inside. Probably another $100 in paint. Uh, I actually didn't stick that much in the paint supply, but if I had to buy all the supplies, I had a pretty good portion of this in my hoard, so with the white and red paint that I had, I had to buy some blue paint. So, but, uh, yeah, for less than 300 bucks, I got something that's a lot cooler than a safe. I think. What do you think? You like it? Then do this. Click on the thing that goes like this. If you don't like it, click on the other thing. All right? Comment if you're so inclined down there in the comment section. Go ahead and uh, click on the subscribe button. I think it's over here. It might be over here. Uh, it's down there someplace. Click on subscribe. And uh, until next time, you have fun, stay safe, shoot straight, and you have yourself a splendid day. Now, I have to push the car back into the garage. So, I'm going to do that, okay? Bye. Later.